Hello everyone, I am Bradley Sward, Associate Professor of Computer and Information Science at the College of Page in Glen Ellen, Illinois, and this is part two of Advent of Code 2020, day 10. I figured out my graph theory, I got it working. It's only two in the morning, my time. Eh, what do you gotta do in the morning anyway, right? So, part two is basically if I give you a list of numbers, and following the rules of the, you know, the numbers can only be one, two, or three apart as you go, working your way up the chain. How many different possible ways can you get from zero to that max number? And so, like in this case, these are all the eight solutions for the, that part up here. For this, there's only eight solutions to get you from zero to 22, and those are them. And for this, the second piece of data, this, this giant set here, Turns out there are 19,208 of them. And so you've already seen the answer there. So see you, have a nice day. But for the rest of you, you're like, well, how the heck do we figure out this without, and if you look at my previous video, I've had a recursive function. I wrote a recursive function that would work except for the fact that the larger the, the sizes and the more recursions and the more recursions I have to do, I, I, can't even, I can't even fathom how much time it would take to generate that. I would get the right answer eventually, but would it be a day? Would it be a week? Would it be years? I, I, don't re I wasn't paying attention when I was doing it. I just knew it was definitely longer than an instant, which I knew that if, I, you, know, if you know your graph theory, and you know how to put all this together, you can, like this, in this little amount of code, you can get your solution. So the number of paths, I'm working my way from zero all the way up, but all I'm really doing is I'm saying that there's one path to zero, because that's this, you know, there's one way to get to zero, and that's just, you have to start at zero. And then, so what I did then was set up an array uh, I got to keep the data, but I got to have paths for how you know however many digits I need, or the maximum number data plus one, so that I can store data all the way across. Oops, wrong one. Sorry. Uh, where are you? Advent of code. Freak. There you go. And so, so it's a one, and then a ton of zeros, and then I'm saying, okay, starting from one. Work my way back, try to subtract one, subtract two, subtract three. If that value is in data, then add to the path. And just say like, okay, whatever, however many paths it took to get to you, yep, now you're me too. So like paths of one, there's only one way to get from zero to one, and that's from to go from zero to one. And so paths two would be the same thing. How many paths go to zero, and then add how many paths go to one, because from z you can go from zero to one to two, and then you can go from zero to two. And that's two different ways. And for three, you can go from zero, zero to one to two to three, or you can go from zero to two to three, or you can go zero to three, and so forth and so on. And so, but th the key here is you have to make sure that the, like as you're subtracting off, that that number is in the data range. And it doesn't necessarily matter that it's doesn't necessarily matter the number you're testing is in the data range, which I could add some more code. Just you have to make sure while you're subtracting your way back that those data, those pieces of data are in there. And you just sum up the paths as you go, boom, 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 for everything. And it and look at it, it'll, it's instantaneous as opposed to taking a lifetime or more. Who knows? Depending on the size of the data input, you have your solution in a mere millisecond it seems like definitely less than an instant and the number eight or six blah 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 you can see that i match up here to there and that is the answer to week 10 or day 10 problem number two that was a lot of fun got to remember my graph theory i'd never you know whatever put it all together um it's it, that's a challenge i mean that's something i would see probably on an interview question or something like that. Like how can I, how many paths was it, can I get? And that's cool, because now this works for anything. Any data set, out, it'll tell you for all, you know, following these rules, it'll tell you how many you get. All right, cool. Thanks everybody. Thanks for sitting through this. Have a nice day. See you next time.